you're eating. You grate as much cucumber as you want. Now, the cucumber gives it a lovely, fresh, fresh, bright taste. So don't be shy about the cucumber. And just put it in there. Just put the whole lot in there so that you've got yogurt and cucumber enjoying themselves, one with the other. All right? Put a little tiny bit. Now, what I like to do is put a little tiny bit of orange juice in there. Some people do, some people don't. Some people put a little bit of oil in there, but oh, we've got a spoon in there. We'll just spoon that around, and we've made ourselves a sauce. If you want to make it look pretty or bright, you can put some cayenne pepper on it, but we've made a sauce, all right? Now, chicken, Moroccan style. We've now got the bottoms. See, the bottoms have changed color and started to cook. That's all we need is them to start to cook. And there's the beginnings of our flavor. We want some cinnamon, because there's a lot of cinnamon used, and we'll put a little bit of cinnamon in there. We want a little bit of pepper, so we'll put a little bit of pepper in there. And some people like to use saffron. Now, I've got cheap saffron today. This is, I think, Mexican saffron. And put that in there. That'll give it a lovely color. We want to make a sauce. All right, we can put water. We can put all kinds of alcoholic beverages in it. But why do that? We got apple juice. And so we'll let that make its own sauce. And there we are, making its own sauce, making itself into something that you're going to love to eat. And that's going to be ready in about six minutes. works there's no cleaner clean than prel and now the original clean of prel green is back work, work. Clean, clean. there's no cleaner clean, clean. <laughs> are you sure you want to do this yeah i like the shop okay but we got a long list here yeah let me get the wine okay you know what it's a great chardonnay i hope they have it <laughs> Mm, everything looks wonderful, you guys. <laughs> hey, Bill, what's the story with this wine? Yeah, Bill, what are we drinking? <laughs> you tell me what you think, and I'll tell you what it is. Oh. I think it's great. Ernest and Julio Gallo present a very special Chardonnay. It's time for a change to Gallo. For centuries, they have stood alone against the bitter rage of the wind and surf, shining their welcoming light on coastlines around the world. Now, rediscover the history, the beauty, the magic and romance of these sentinels by the sea as TLC presents the U.S. cable premiere of Lighthouses, Guardians of the Night, Wednesday at 10 on The Learning Channel. This quality adjustable bed costs 50% less than these three quality flatbeds. 50% less. Yet Craftmatic offers these advantages over flatbeds. First, it adjusts electrically at the touch of a button, so you can read in bed, watch TV in bed, snack, chat on the phone, do a crossword puzzle, and relax and sleep in wonderful comfort. Plus, if you suffer from low back pain or edema or swelling of the legs, unlike any ordinary flatbed, an adjustable bed may temporarily provide relief. Call toll-free to receive this free adjustable bed catalog by mail. Get the facts about the adjustable bed that costs 50% less than all three of these quality flatbeds. 50% less. Call for your free catalog now. Call toll-free 1-800-445-4000. That's 1-800-445-4000. Call toll-free 1-800-445-4000. So, welcome back to the Chicken Show, the Urban Peasant Chicken Show. Right, first of all, look at our Moroccan chicken. Look at the color that's picking up in there. Isn't that just lovely? That's just simmering away, making it so cinnamony. Nice. Right. Now we're going to do something that's sort of Thai chicken. I, I first saw this done in Bangkok, 
a very fancy hotel cooking school there, and they showed me a lot of things. We haven't got everything that they have there, but we got most of the things. And what we haven't got, we'll improvise with. So we'll turn on this fry pan, and we'll get some coconut milk. Now, coconut milk, unless you happen to live where there are coconuts, and you can shred coconut, it comes in cans or blocks. And the first thing you do is to give it a good stir up, because the cream rises to the top. So you only want to use, you want it nicely mixed up, because we don't want cream. And then we'll put about three or four tablespoonfuls of it into a pan. And then we'll put in with the pan some garlic, and we'll put into the pan some ginger. Let's chop up some ginger, nice and small here. And if we were in Thailand, we'd have kaffir limes, and we'd have all kinds of lovely things. But we haven't got kaffir limes. We've got what we've got. Whoops, and that's what we're going to cook with. So we're going to cook this in here. And the coconut oil has got a lot of oil in it, so it's really going to fry it as much as stew it. I want to put in some peppers. Now, if you use these little peppers, and you use them whole, they don't get half as hot as if you cut them up. And when I first saw this done, they put about 30 of these in this dish, but I'm just going to put about half a dozen in there. You can buy them in any supermarket. And there you are. It's going to simmer away and turn itself into a sauce. Now, we want a little garlic? Right. We've got garlic. Well, let's put a bit more in. All right. Doesn't matter change things around a little bit. You want a little bit of onion. We'll put in a little bit of onion. And we want to put in, now, as I say, this is Bangkok, we'd have kaffir limes, but we haven't. So we we'll just cut the outside bits off a lime or a lemon. Doesn't matter. All right. Now, just put those in there, and they'll give it a really nice flavor. I haven't got any salt in there because we're not going to use any salt. We'll have most of our flavors will be in it already. That's turned itself into a sauce. Just as soon as the onion goes thin, we'll, as soon as the onion goes sort of transparent and sort of thins out a little bit, gets itself a little soft, we can put the chicken in. Now, I'm going to cut up the chicken because, again, Thai culture doesn't really accept whole great lumps of meat any more than the Chinese culture does. It's just enough to go in your mouth and look nice. So we'll cut this chicken up into sort of bite-sized pieces. And if you're doing it with, if you want to cook the whole thing, then that's just fine. But it's a lot more fun to eat food where you do have to share things with people instead of having your own piece on your own plate and that's mine. That's no good, that's not much fun. So here we are, a chicken, ready to cook in this nice sauce of coconut milk and onions and garlic and ginger and hot, hot red peppers. Now, we've got ourselves something which is going to look really pretty. If we want to put in there some green onions, then we can put in some green onions. We'll put those in in a bit. But what would be nicer, we can do this with green beans. Let's do it with some asparagus. All right? Supposing we cut some asparagus up, you know, the long, thin way. We've done this before. Rolling cut. And just make it so that it's nice little bits. And it will take about 30 seconds to cook in there. The chicken's in little bits. And so the chicken will only take about well, chicken will take maybe 20, 20 seconds. See, I'm turning that round. Look, every time you cut it, you turn it a half cut. And then you turn it another half cut. It's called a rolling cut. It's one of the quickest techniques you can learn for doing. Do it with celery, do it with any vegetable at all. Great thing to do. All right? Now, you think we're ready? Does that chicken change color? Not quite. Let's give it a minute. All right? But already it's starting to smell. It's got this great funky sort of lemony smell. I'm going to make it really lemony and I'm going to cut this lime in half and just before we serve it I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice in it. Now that is almost done and now that's it almost done and we'll put in the asparagus 
Now, we'll put the lid on that for a couple of minutes, and we've made all that in six minutes. Explore the recipes and writings of James Barber by ordering your copy of the Urban Peasant Cookbook. James Barber's anecdotes and tips, together with his fast, simple and affordable recipes, create much more than a cookbook. To receive your copy, send 1895 to The Urban Peasant, P.O. Box 2284, South Burlington, Vermont, 05407 2284. Or charge by phone, 1-800-322-8321. Today we're going to visit the secret fishing hole. Where would you be without milk? Milk has magnesium. For balance. Riboflavin for agility. It's remarkably slim on calories. And milk has protein. It boosts your energy. This is the secret fishing hole? Sure. Ask anybody. Milk, it does a body good. Cracker Barrel presents two shining examples of award-winning taste. Creamy California Monterey Jack. And to spice things up, California Pepper Jack. Cracker Barrel, judged to be the best. This guy can fly. Bang, we got him on the rise. He's trying to target us. Jam him. Space technology of the 21st century. He's pulling a 7G turn out of here. It's here, now, in the Air Force. Aim high. Air Force. In a remote corner of the Canadian Arctic lies one of the best preserved impact craters on Earth. It is over a million years old, 20 city blocks across, and deep enough to swallow the Empire State Building. But where did it come from? How was it formed? And what mysteries lie hidden beneath its crystal clear waters? Explore the secrets of the lake that fell to Earth with host James Burke on the next Science Frontiers, Thursday at 9 on The Learning Channel. Welcome back to the chicken show. Now we cleaned up the board because all good chicken handlers. Look what we got there. Great. I just, this, I wish I could put this in a bottle and send it to you for a lot of money because it'd be a lot better dab behind the ears than some of the fancy perfumes. But this is a beautiful, rich, spicy aroma, just like Christmas. And look at the color of that Thai one. So I'm going to put a little bit of this nice coriander on there and that's cooked so we can put it there this is cooked so we can put it there and I'll get rid of that lid and now I'm going to show you something really really great I'm going to show you how to make you know people make rice curry well we're going to make couscous couscous you buy it in a packet just about any store we usually eat it with Moroccan food there's no reason why you shouldn't eat it with Thai food cup and a half of boiling water and a cup of couscous that's all. Just stir it around. Turn off the heat. And it cooks itself. Now, is there anything simpler than that? Now, watch this. Move that out of the way here. Let me move that right out of the way over here. That's it. OK. Now, eggs, three eggs. I'm just beat them up fluffy. All right. Just give them a little beat. And if you haven't got a whisk, and use one of your electric things. If you haven't got an electric thing, you can do it with a fork. But a whisk is a nice thing to have. And as soon as you've done that, you put in two tablespoonfuls of sugar. Right, sugar. Okay, and you put in a couple ounces of sherry. You can do this with brandy. You can also do it with marsala. You can do it with all kinds of things. But you just stir it all together. Put it into the saucepan. And then a lot of people do this with the double boiler. But you go to a fancy, you go to a fancy hotel, and the guy will come and stand very French at the table, and he will pass it backwards and forwards. And this is an exercise in just self-control, because you can't cook it quickly. You have to keep on doing it sort of this way, over the heat, or as I say, over a pot of boiling water. But you just do this. You just keep on beating it. And you talk to your friends and you say, hi, did you have a good day at the office today? And would you mind shutting the door because the wind's blowing in? Or could you let the cat in? Or can I do something? Whatever you want to do. If you've got someone who lives downstairs and they can hear the banging, well, you know, that's what you can do. You just 
keep right on going. You just keep right on beating this as fast as you can. And why are you beating it? Well, you're beating it to get air in it, but you're also beating it so that it's not going to get stuck on the bottom and turn into scrambled egg. And we don't want it to be scrambled egg. We want it to be this lovely, soft, thick. It's already, I've got this coming. And it's thick and frothy and fluffy. And I'm just going to have it finished in time for you to see. Put it in a nice glass. Watch this. Just watch while I'm still beating. Have a nice cup. And look, see how thick it goes. Look, 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 look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? If you'd like these recipes, send us a stamped, self-addressed envelope to the Urban Peasant, Vancouver, British Columbia, postal code V6B, 4B2, Post Office Box 5157.